guys, Jen here from Made and Suds and Such and Be Scented. It has been forever since I've gotten to do a video. I have made a ton of soap um, for a wholesale order and I've started working on my holiday soaps and um, I just figured I, I'm not doing a soaping video right now. I did not record making any of these soaps just because I was really pressed for time and um, I just felt uh, I don't know I just felt really pressed for time and sometimes making a video is stressful so I didn't record making these soaps but I'm, I feel caught up so I feel relaxed and I'm going to video cutting all of these soaps and I will start doing making videos of all the soaps um, that I'm going to be doing for my holiday release. Right now, um, now this may be several days before this video is uploaded, um, but right now we're shooting for December the 8th for our holiday release. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to bring you guys along as we cut some soaps. I'll probably pause in between each batch so I can move them to my curing rack. Hopefully the lighting is okay. Um, but this first one is my batch of pumpkin spice. Uh, last year we really didn't do many holiday soaps. And um, I asked this year what everybody would like to see. And everybody wanted the holiday soaps back. I'm trying to decide. So I said, okay. So I said, all right, I'll make holiday soaps and non-holiday soaps. So for those of you watching, I'm, well, I don't know. I may have uh, already gotten into making all the holiday soaps before you guys see this video. So I'm probably going to do about 10. Uh, holiday soaps or 10 at least a dozen soaps for the holiday listing um, may put together some gift sets um, with probably maybe um, some of the holiday soaps um, we'll see how that works out Ooh, that's pretty now the pumpkin spice does discolor a lot I discounted the amount of um, fragrance used because it is very spacey and then I also because um, normally the amount of fragrance that I use is about 2.7 ounces for the size batch of soap that I do so I actually only used about 1.7 ounces of fragrance for this whole batch. Uh, I have another loaf to cut. And then um, I also uh, left out the orange and white not colored. So we've got a bunch of samples. So we discounted our fragrance load for the batch and then we left part of it unscented and it still smells amazing. The only part that is scented in this is the brown and it will continue to darken. So pretty. I've already got a request to do uh, peppermint um, and also do a thousand wishes black raspberry vanilla because black raspberry vanilla sold out super quick so I'll be I'll remake that thousand wishes we've not made in a long time so we'll be making that one um, so those are three that I know I'll be making out of at least ten more Thank you. 
And next up I have, um, I'm getting ready to cut as, I'll keep going because I've got some room, um, is my very popular, I'm going to cut my samples really quickly, um, candy apple. I make it every year. It always sells. Everybody loves the design. I always think this is like a perfect sample size soap. You get lots of washes out of that. It's not too tiny. Alright. So, in the candy apple is ours for the listing, the holidays, as well. And I always make it the same way. You can see the bottom. Gorgeous. I need the paper towel. My hands are a little wet. Because I was using a baby wipe to clean um, my thing here. I just like the way a baby wipe works. Ooh, yay. Keeps it very nice and clean. So it's a double in the pot swirl and a drop swirl. Let's see if we can get that close up. Turned out really good. Let's see. Make sure you guys can see this well. I may just zoom in to where I know you guys can see it really good and then not show everyone right up to the camera. Oh yeah, I know you guys can see the design. Ooh, yay. Oh, and it smells awesome. I always love how this one turns out. I always say I'm going to do another soap in this design. And I have yet to do another soap in this design. I need to. Because I always love how it turns out. Now, if I didn't want any samples... I easily could get seven bars of soap instead of the six, but I like having samples to give to my customers, so I always cut an end piece off. Turned out just how I imagined it was going to. Now after this one, I'll pause you guys, get these on my curing rack, and I'll bring you guys back for the next set. The next two, and then these ones are actual wholesale order that I've been working on. It was a pretty large order that I just got finished. And that's why I was like, I felt a little stressed and to get it done so I didn't record anything. Okay. So I'm going to pause you guys and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are now going to cut lavender, cucumber, and sage. 
and this is part of the wholesale order. Now this one I am not going to cut in pieces. Um, that way they can decide if they want to do in pieces or not. Oh, how pretty. Now I may be able, I'm pretty sure the way I cut hers um, oh, I love it, is, um, to where I do get seven bars of soap. Oh, wow, the design is gorgeous. I used a little bit of sage powder in the cream color. Just a small amount. This last one will be cut right in half. Beautiful. And then I got one more loaf of this one. Same thing. I just used the um, the eight inch molds from Be Scented, and I used my normal fifty five ounce recipe. And it fills those two. Hold on. Okay. This one turned out really pretty. I'm really liking this one. Very nice. One more cut on this one. And then we'll move on to the next soap. Love it. So the next one is Honey, I Washed the Kids. And Austin actually picked the colors. Um, he said I had to do a honey yellow for um Let's see. He said I had to do a honey yellow for the honey <laughs> and um, black and white. And I decided to do a stripe. I said, and I told him, I said, so I have to do a bumblebee? And he said, yes. <laughs> and I said, okay. So I'm hoping that it turns out good. It was getting a little thick on me. Oh, it did. So I mixed a yellows. Um, I actually did the golden rod from Be Scented, and I mixed in some 14 karat gold with it. And it kind of deepened the yellow. Oh, yay. I like it. Now my customer, of course, already sent her photos of the tops of the soaps. And she loved them. The Honey I Washed the Kids was an add-on at the end of her order. Like after I was like almost completely done with her order. She messaged me. She was like, hey, can I add... Mm, honey, I'll wash the kids. And I was like, sure. So, we got that added on. Yeah, I really...
really like how this one turned out. Very pleased with that. Now, my wholesale account, she does make soaps herself, um, but she always, she always buys from me. This time she ordered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 loaves of soap. I had already made, um, all but 1, 2, Four. One more here, and this one shall have an end piece on this mold. Go. Then I'll. She can decide what she wants to do. And then the next one is Alien Princess. Uh, Austin actually helped me with the colors on this one. We made these on Saturday. We decided on two different colors of brown and a purple and like a reddish or this is Egyptian dragon not alien princess sorry Egyptian dragon ooh very nice cuz this one does this color so that's why we kind of went with the darker colors That way, we wouldn't have to worry with discoloration. Gotta work with it. When you know something's going to do something, you work around it. You make your soap to fit that. I've missed all of you guys tremendously going to try to get this video loaded as quickly as possible. We've been having some terrible trouble with our Be Scented website. I've been crazy lady with it, trying to get it fixed. Uh, it's just technical errors on the back end, you know. We've been working, working, working on trying to get that going. So, hopefully that's taken care of very soon. Because I'm about to lose my mind. <laughs> trying to help our customers. Ooh, that's a lovely, awesome piece. Lucky person who gets that bar of soap. gearing up for Black Friday sale coming up um, and then of course you know getting the products made for the holiday release for me personally um, it's just been crazy get all these shavings off my cutter kinda gets trapped down in here kind of hinders it and I don't I don't like it getting all smushed up in there so kind of clean it out there we go go through lots of paper towels and our last soap uh, is Thai coconut
this looks like inside. Ooh, how pretty. Now, I used mm, see some um, uh, blueberry seeds, I believe, for something different. Yes, it was the blueberry seeds I used. And a little bit of brown. And of course I send my customer all the information that I use so they can have it on their labels correctly. That one turned out wonderful. I know this is probably a little bit of a long video, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've got one more loaf here to cut. And then we'll have some making videos where we make us some soap got nice and cold here in Southwest Virginia. I'm not sure where you guys are located. Nice and cold here. It was 30 degrees this morning when I took the kids to school. We were already excited and planning our next vacation. Somewhere warm. <laughs> and I think we're going to hold off and go on vacation when it's cold. That way, we go someplace nice and warm. All right, guys, I thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you on the next video.